Hey guys, um, I know I've posted on the consultant corner a couple times when people have asked um, how you store your sprinkles. And I've shown a picture of my sprinkle bar like this a couple of times and I've had a lot of people message me individually about this as well as um, commenting and replying on my photos. Now, I've obviously done this before um, before the new cartons were released. The new cartons that are coming out for fall um, are made of plastic, which is awesome. If you're not a consultant and you're watching this or you watch this later, um, this is the old cartons. They're made of cardboard. Um, I still have a few of these down here. Now, unless the company changes policy, so far, they've said they're not going to let us buy <clears throat> empty cart, empty plastic cartons to switch over cartons. Maybe they'll change that in the future. But if you still would like to change your cartons over to plastic um, instead of the cardboard, this is what I have. I'm going to just go into detail with this a little bit. This is how they come, okay? Um, these are from the Dollar Tree. Um... I've only found them in two stores and not in very much quantity. The last time I went, they only had three. Um, if you are doing a sprinkle bar, you do events, and you have a lot of cartons like I do, you want to go to the Dollar Tree website and buy a case of these. There are, I believe, 24 in a case, and they're split. 12 have blue lids and 12 have white lids. Now, I know it's a little confusing because the bottom of these say they hold 33 fluid ounces, but I swear to you, it holds exactly one carton's worth of sprinkles. Like, my air care is bursting at the seams here that has um, maybe one carton and a jar's worth in there, but they hold one carton of sprinkles for this particular size. Um, when you buy them at the Dollar Tree, it's a dollar, you know, they're just a dollar for each one, so if you buy a, a case of 24 it's 24 dollars um now the lids i spray painted with krylon in a color called mambo pink which i think is really really close to the pink zebra color i'm gonna grab another one of these i mean that's pretty close guys and i'm i'm, I'm in bad lighting up here um I made the mistake though when I painted, I spray painted my lids, I didn't use a primer and I should have. If you notice a few of these have, you know, some of the paint is rubbing off. Um, if, if I, you know, eventually someday, I'll, you know, I'll have all of my cartons in the new pink zebra cartons, but um, until then, eventually I'm going to take all these lids off and, and spray paint them with a primer first and then paint another coat of the mambo pink on top and I, d I also didn't I didn't paint the in the insides of these um, the white doesn't really bother me but some of the insides of these are still blue um, I know in the candy cinnamon apple you can you can kind of see that in there it's dark and the one next to it is white um, so anyways that's that's how I do these Dollar Tree cartons a dollar for each one I spray paint the lid and then I use the imaging editing software called Canva. It's uh, C-A-N-V-A dot com, Canva dot com. They have a free account. They also have a pretty cheap um, business account as well, which is like 11 or $12 a month and you get access to more templates, more images, extra stuff. But um, I just measured the front of these to figure out what size would work best. And then... Um, I created an image with the exact size that I wanted. They're all the same. I put the logo here and my website and Facebook link at the bottom. Um, this is more for like event purposes if I'm if I'm there. You know, I, I know a lot of people, if they're somewhere, they say, hey, this is really cool or I'm going to do this later. They'll just like take their phone and take a screenshot of it. Um, so that way it's just, it's out there to people. And I highly recommend doing that. Um, so I've just made a template. And I used, I've got stacks of old catalogs down here. And I also used Google on occasion. I have some older scents um, that I got that were only available like for the California wildfires and, and America Strong cartons and stuff that they brought back that I never had as a consultant before. 
So I, I went online to search for the descriptions of these and I, I printed these out on a heavy duty cardstock. Um, I just downloaded each image into a Word document and then just printed it on the heavy paper and then these are just um, hot glued on here. So I mean they're you know they're not they're not coming off they're on here but should I ever you know if let's say I use up one of these and I want to put a new scent in there if I were to stick a knife under here or like a, a long fingernail I would be able to pry it off easily and it would leave zero mess on the cartons. So once again this is a great option for those of you who have a lot um, you know especially if the company they don't let us buy the new plastic cartons um, you can switch yours up. I use mine primarily for the sprinkle bar in my home so customers can come up here and blend their own jars um, or make candles. So it's really it's a really fun way to do that but anyways there you go I'll just zoom in on a few of these so you can kind of see what they look like. But these containers you can buy it at Dollar Tree is where they're at. Dollar each. And the spray paint you can find at Walmart or you can buy it at Amazon. Thanks for watching.